Hi, welcome back to Preschool Storytime from the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Shana, and I'll be your storyteller today. Do you hear that? Hi, Storytime Fairy. Is this for me? Whoa, thank you so much. I think I hear something in here. Thank you, Storytime Fairy. Do you hear that funny sound? What could be in here? I wonder. Hmm. What is that? A little green lily pad? And oh, look at a tiny little Froggy! Hello, little frog. <laughs> and there's something else in here. This looks like a big toad. It croaks. That's a lot of fun. Well, I think we know what story time is about today. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Today's story is called By the Light of the Moon. It's written by one of my favorite author illustrators, Fran Preston Gannon. The illustrations are so beautiful. See the frog playing the little guitar? And a little tiny dragonfly listening over here on the lily pad. A little frog sat in the nighttime air in the swamp by the light of the moon. He sat all alone on the little green pond singing his little frog tune. But all by himself, his voice was so quiet that he stopped and he let out a sigh. <sighs> Singing alone is not much fun. What a sad, lonely froggy am I. Do you like to sing when you're by yourself? I do, but I also really miss singing with you all at story time and I hope we can again soon. So he hopped and he jumped over lily pad leaves and into the blue of the night to find someone else to join his song and make it sound just right. I think he can find in the pond to sing with him. I think I heard one of you say crocodile. He found a friendly crocodile who was drumming and humming in time. My friend, he called, will you sing with me? Will you add your song to mine? So the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they both sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Do you think they have enough voices yet? You got a drum, you got a froggy and a guitar and a crocodile. Hmm. They found a group of musical mice who sang, played a flute and a gong. They made a nice trio, the little frog thought, and he asked them if they'd sing along. So the mice sang high in the dark night sky, and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum, while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Down in the murky depths of the pond, some little fish swam to and fro. Froggy called down, will you sing with us? So they added their voice to the flow. So the fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Some birds flew down from high above, 
when they heard the hullabaloo. We love the song you're singing, they said, and we'd like to join in too. So the birds sang along and added their song. The fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. But something was wrong as they all sang along in the swamp by the light of the moon. Froggy put down his small guitar. Somehow it still wasn't right. But then he saw a shy little bug not adding her song to the night. What's wrong, he said. Why are you so quiet? Please join in and sing along. Not me, said the little bug. I'm far too small and my voice is not very strong. My friend, said Froggy, your song is unique and important like all of the rest. Even small voices count, so let's hear yours. Only you can sing your song best. So the bug sang out her very own song and her small voice carried far. She buzzed and she buzzed to the beat of the swamp and she lit up the night like a star. Maybe she wasn't a dragonfly. Maybe she was a little lightning bug. Then the birds sang along and added their song. The fish sang loud, their voices proud. The mice sang high in the dark night sky and the crocodile hummed and beat his drum while the little frog sang his tune. And as the song spread all through the swamp, each voice blended in with the rest. Now everyone knew that the song of the swamp needed everyone's voice to sound best. Together the animals, the plants and the moon, the earth, the pond, and the shining stars too. They all sang together their wonderful tune in the swamp by the light of the moon, the moon in the swamp by the light of the moon. The end. Wasn't that a nice story? I'm so glad that the little lightning bug got the courage to sing. And I'm so glad they all sang together. Now I'd like to sing a song that you're probably familiar with, Five Green and Speckled Frogs. I know what you're thinking, Miss Shana, there's only four green speckled frogs there. You're right. I lost one of them. So if you find a little felt frog hopping around, will you please return him to the library for me? He misses his friends. But today we'll sing about four green and speckled frogs. Show me your froggies and your log. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Splash. Where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Ribbit. Splash. Where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Ribbit, boing, splash. Where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. 
She jumped into the pool, ribbit, where it was nice and cool, splash. Now there are no green speckled frogs on the log, right? That's because they jumped into the cool pond. <laughs> the end. Now I'd like to sing a song called Where Are the Froggies When the North Wind Blows? It's a song about animals that hibernate during the winter and wake up in the springtime. For this song, if you'd like to grab a blankie or a scarf or hanky that you can hide underneath and pretend you're hibernating and sleeping like a little froggy in the mud, you can do that. And when the spring sun comes out, we'll throw off our scarf and hop around like little froggies, okay? Where are the froggies when the north winds blow? We cannot see them in the ice and snow. When the warm spring sun comes out, froggies wake and hop about. Oh, how happy they will be, a springtime world they will see. Did you hop around, little froggies? Great job. Now let's pretend we're bear cubs. Where do bears like to sleep in the winter? In a cave or a den? That's right. Okay, little baby bears, hide in your den and cozy up for the winter. And then when the spring sun comes out, we'll wake up and we'll crawl about like little baby bears, okay? Here we go. Where are the bears when the north winds blow? When the warm spring sun comes out, bears come out and crawl about. Oh, how happy they will be, a springtime world for them to see. Great job, little baby bears. I saw you crawling around. Now let's pretend we're, what's an animal we might see here in California? Squirrels. I have little squirrels that were burying peanuts in my grass in the winter to store their food, but they would go to sleep in their tree. So let's be little squirrels nestled up in our tree, okay? And when the sun comes out, we'll toss off our blankies and we'll run around like crazy little squirrels, okay? Where are the squirrels when the north winds blow? job little squirrels. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun sharing froggy stories and songs with you. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.